Oh, I did good today. <laughs> I invested in future workers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, uh, private militaries uh, on secret ocean struts, they, uh, they have mm -hmm. the GI Bill, right? Mm -hmm. these, these kids are going to get a college education, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to get some type of education, but I feel like the, the type of curriculum that Big Boss, Miller, and Ocelot would put together would be a very strange one. Well, obviously they're going to know everything about every gun ever made. Yeah. And also some weird hobbies. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, here's the thing. They're, they're definitely they're gonna, gonna learn how to paint, like, Japanese screens. Yeah. Yeah. Ocelot knows a lot of we has just a weird encyclopedic memory, so they're gonna know a lot of things about random animals they'll never see. <laughs> uh... They're gonna know way too much about torture. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's definitely going to be a thing, at least for some of them. Um, this is Pequot. There's going to be a lot of classes on how to gut animals. <laughs> and you really only you need, like, him. two. You need mammal class and everything else class. Yeah. By the way, uh, well, we still have oh. one more mission left for rescuing the legendary gunsmith yet again. Mm. Uh, here he is. So we, we've captured all of his uh, iron-working orphans, and now <laughs> yeah. this is the final gunsmith. Yeah, this is the true legendary gunsmith. He's just in the, uh, uh, the base we've been to a couple times now. It's the place that uh, we rescued uh, Malik from. In fact, he was in the same location. That was like episode 10 or something. Yeah, he went through a lot of different groups of people that were making systems. And in fact, we finally got his 8th MS team. <laughs> uh. All right, buddy. Off you go. <laughs> Good. We're done with them. We're done with the gunsmiths. Yet okay. again. <laughs> Yet again. Uh, and also, back over in, uh, uh, Africa. <laughs> Meanwhile in Africa. <laughs> Meanwhile in Africa, way over there. Uh, there's some other people we need to, to rescue real quick. Uh, and some blueprints to pick up. Uh, this is a guy I'm gonna want for, for some stuff later. Mm -hmm. uh, and otherwise, if you don't rescue him here, you gotta rescue him, like, during... Uh, a mission later where there's way more dudes. So what's what's the deal? Yeah, but why? But why? Uh, I'm actually trying to remember what he does right now, and I forget. Also, well, just... he doesn't fit in windows. I know what he, he doesn't, doesn't do. It's I didn't want to have to go through the door, and sometimes he can throw dudes through windows, but not always. It's a little finicky. But also, uh, like on the opposite side of the map, quiet found. Another mother base soldier. Ooh. Uh, so there's, like I said, uh, a couple different ways to so we, recruit. We've guns. done box. We've done CQC. Yeah, uh, and you will see the uh, a third option. I believe there's like five different options uh, total to to demonstrate to dudes that you're the true big boss. Uh, oh, it, it's an eventful day back at home, though. Look, look at all that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Is balking someone with a magazine, does that count? <laughs> I wish. Yeah, he's got, uh, he has sleep grenades. Oh. So it puts you to sleep, like, immediately. They're very powerful yeah. smoke grenades. Um... The other thing is, is that when you pass out, uh, when he runs away, he untags himself, so you have to find him again. Uh, yeah, but well, he doesn't if, run away. If you have dog or woman, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> yeah, and also he doesn't run super far away, so if you have even, like, a slightly upgraded sonar arm, you can find him pretty easily, because these guys always hide in places where there's no other enemies. Maybe some animals, but... There he is. That's 
the target. I remember him. He was off base during the attack nine years ago. You say ago. that about everybody, Miller. <laughs> Bring him home, boss. Maybe he was the traitor. Ever think of that? Whoa. If I was the traitor, I wouldn't be on the base. <laughs> uh, so there is an upgrade I got forever ago. Uh, they haven't used too much yet, and that is the speaker on the Walkman. <gasps> so there is a a couple different cassette tapes that'll that'll do this, but uh, one of the ones we got is uh, uh, Love Deterrence, which you yes. pick up from the first mission when you're rescuing uh, Miller. And so when you play that on the speaker, they'll remember hearing that song back from Peace Walker, and it'll lure them to you. <gasps> Fantastic. Like, they come running. <laughs> Dude loves that song. Yeah. Maybe it's better than I thought. Maybe. It's like the, the nice acoustic version or whatever. He's just sick of hearing here's to you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love Joan Baez, but can we get, like, some diamonds and rust in here or mm -hmm. something? Just for variety's sake? It's... It's you, boss! Allow me to serve under you! Well, there you go. Uh, still a couple other ways to... To, to prove that you're a big boss to them. But, uh, this is actually probably the easiest, most convenient one. Because <laughs> they can hear it from very far away, so even if you don't know where they are, if you just walk around for a little bit, they'll just follow you. You don't even have to do anything. Yeah, it's very easy. Alright. Our third soldier. But, uh, yeah, get another photo. Oh, and also... So, you finally found that legend of a gunsmith. The guys on the R and D. Yeah, some real gunsmith heroes. They say he's every bit as good as the stories. With him working for us, you'll be able to customize your weapons. Try it out in the ACC. So here you go. Here's like a very major like function that is kind of easily missable. <laughs> uh, there's some really goofy shit you can do with it later. Fighting is broken out among staff. Uh, I gotta go talk to my snake? mentally disturbed patient. Me, snake? <laughs> Here you go. Remember a thing. I dare you. Who took this? Strange love? Maybe when she rubbed that sunscreen on me. Oh, I'm trying not to remember it. Yeah, that's probably for the best. You know, yeah. Despite her quirks. Dr. Strangelove is a good person. I wouldn't call that a quirk when she, th when she, like everyone else, believed you were a oh. minor. My head, it hurts. Also, she is complicit in trying to start a nuclear war. Yeah, that too. There, there's that. Yeah. All right. Well, see you later, Paz. See ya! Uh, <laughs> feel better, I hope. Maybe one day we'll make a breakthrough here or something. Where'd you get that paint? Oh, boy. Alright, so the, the gun customization stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's pretty cool. Can uh, you make those leopard print? Uh, no, but there are... <sighs> there's more patterns and colors for the guns than there are for the vehicles, at oh, least. okay, okay. But, uh, you know, you can get put a bunch of different parts on different weapons. Uh, so, like, on the lower right, you see all those different things listed in the, in the yellow text. Mm -hmm. When you build that gun, those are all the optional parts that also get built when uh. you make it. Um, I kind of wish there was a way to just, like, separately just go, like, I want to build this specific gun part. Because it's hard to, like, find the gun that has the part you want, and you're making a bunch of extra guns you might not want just for the parts they come with. Mm -hmm. It's a little cumbersome, I don't know. But, um... Oh, and also, we're, we're good enough friends with Quiet now that we can make the Guilty Butterfly which is a, a Trank sniper rifle. And also we're good enough friends with Quiet now that suddenly she just starts doing this in the helicopter. <laughs> what the fuck? Tell you what, 
I'm not good enough friends with anybody for that to happen. In my <laughs> okay, life. so 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 she's doing this now because our bond like has gone up with her, right? You would think that would be like, oh, you're at like 80 out of 100 points. We're at 20 out of 100 points. That's what she does at 20 points out of 100 for friendship. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, Pilots do not fucking care. They like, are over it. <laughs> you seen this fucking shit, Pequod? What the hell? Anyways, let's customize some guns. Yeah, let's make a dang gun. Oh, man. <laughs> Big Boss hasn't developed a ton of guns, so there aren't a ton of optional parts, but we've we've made the very loud Trank sniper rifle, and we can just slap a suppressor on it now. Hooray! I'm gonna be laughing for the next 29 minutes. No, yeah, I don't blame you. It's so dumb. It's really stupid. Oh, man. And, uh, like... Quiet does more shit when you get... In, in higher bond levels with her, so it gets even dumber. Just you wait. I call this one uh. D-Dog. It stands for downward. No, oh, no. <laughs> downward fucking dog. Travis Touchdown. <laughs> 2011. <laughs> He's in yeah, this there's game a bunch of, <laughs> Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of patterns uh, for guns. You can make them bright pink if you want. That's fun. Uh, you know, just like all the, uh, the, the tactical, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, pistols I've seen that, that everybody's... Dick Sporting's goods, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, Venom Snake, in particular, will be customizing his guns a lot, and, uh, if I can make it happen, Vapor Snake will, too. We have a new assignment. Eliminate the commander of Rogue Coyote, one of the PFs operating in Africa. Rogue Coyote, you kill him in uh, Metal Gear 2, Snake's Revenge, right? That's his rank <laughs> yes. His army days. Instead of your typical boots on the groundwork, he's more of a job broker and a recruiter. And apparently he also runs a little espionage operation on the side. Which could explain why he's picked up a long list of enemies. I don't like getting involved in a PF pissing match any more than you do. There's another reason we took this job. Recently, this guy's been talking about dealing in... Mm. Could get involved in a PF Changs, though. Yeah. If we put the squeeze on this Major, we might come out of it with some new intel on Cypher. So this was a promotional tie-in with the Ghost in the Shell movie. Absolutely. I see. Okay. Yeah. Can't wait. He's the one who was investigating Can't the wait for that ba orders. Battle Angel Alita DLC. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Gonna make Miller's <laughs> eyes huge. have a connection to Cypher. I'd like to interrogate him to be sure, but there's no guarantee he knows anything useful. The contract is to eliminate him. But I'll leave things up to you, boss. Be careful down there, boss. Hello, horse. Hello. I like that they always deliver the horse first. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see the horse doing uh, some stretches. Yeah. Also wearing fishnets. I, ju I just kept thinking, like, how would they deploy the horse at the same time they deploy you? And obviously, there would just be a big, like, uh, scooper claw, uh, <laughs> like, on the bottom of the helicopter that just drops the horse. Yeah, that's the eighth D-horse. <laughs> They're all the same. Alright, so, trying to find this guy. Uh, this is actually a, a pretty simple mission. Target's man should be somewhere around there. After the last couple of missions being like really big, like hour long affairs, this one's like easy to complete in like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, of course, we're doing two takes. Mm hmm. 
but yeah, this is a uh, it's a tailing mission. It's it's not uh, bad. It's not super frustrating or anything. It's it's not like an Assassin's Creed tailing mission or most other open world tailing missions where it's like extremely frustrating. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, I mean if you do get spotted by him. Basically, if you get spotted by them, uh, it just adds like a, a a timer to the mission to complete it mm -hmm. before they they just run away. But it's a big map; it takes them a while to run away usually. That whole time, I was just imagining Colonel Campbell in the first Metal Gear Solid, mm -hmm. saying that this is a tailing mission. <laughs> you don't shoot anybody; you just follow Liquid Snake for a while. Yeah, <laughs> and then they send fighter jets to blow up the island. <laughs> to stay out of sight. Oh, I'm just gonna gonna go over to Vapor Snake. And uh you know, we're supposed to follow the guy. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. dropped in from a different spot that Big Boss did. But it's been a while. We rescued kids. That was stressful. We had to buckle them all in. They were all rowdy, so I had to kick them to sleep. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. let's just take a long smoke break. I'm you glad the horse it. is so patient. Yeah, it's just a boy's night out with you and your horse, bud. <laughs> also, our uh, Phantom Cigar has been upgraded enough that you can pass a full 24 hours with one smoke. <laughs> but why? Why would you <laughs> want to do that? Uh, I don't know. But I mean, you know, whenever you take too much of a, too much of a smoke, it's just kind of, just kind of forget what we're doing. Just leave our horse by. <laughs> oh no. He'll take care of himself. Oh, no. He's a wild animal. He'll revert back to his instincts if I leave him. Hopefully. He's waiting for you to put in the next movie, but now it's just going to replay Bad Boys 2 again. Oh no. Look, those are basically horses. I already made new friends. All right. Yeah. They're gonna run away if I try to pet them, though, so I should probably get a stun grenade or something. <laughs> They're probably afraid of me. I'm going to throw weapons at them. <laughs> so they know it's okay. Boss, get down. That's an enemy gunship. Stay low and crawl along the ground. That should enable you to sneak past... They don't take kindly to you throwing grenades at zebras. Yes. <laughs> The park rangers here are <laughs> really, really uptight. <laughs> it's fine, though. We're gonna collect some new animals for our zoo. So one of the things I'm bummed about is that when you collect animals, uh, basically each animal, once you put in, like, a couple of them, that's the limit to how many you'll see in the zoo. Like, most uh -huh. of the time it's just, like, two per animal. Mm -hmm. um, so even when you have a full zoo, it's never, like, bustling, and I just really wanted a super crowded zoo, just to... Uh, <laughs> just just herds fucking, roving. Yeah, just a, a swirling swarm of every animal mixed up in just one giant zoo in the middle of the ocean. Uh, you, you can never mm -hmm. quite get that, that, uh, that level. I think you're ignoring the the real reason Vapor Snake Fulton them is for recruitment, because mm -hmm. he looked and saw all of those stripes and figured, wow, they must be incredibly high rank. <laughs> it's true. Look at all those insignia. <laughs> wow. You must command such respect. <laughs> His vehicle stopped. Is that where he's meeting the target? But yeah, this is this is the uh, the the base where uh, I rescued that guy just earlier in the video. Uh, it's that house like to the left. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, oh right, that guy's a. Uh, no, he's not a missile guy specialist. There's actually a second dude that will be getting a little bit. Who's. Uh, <laughs> Missile so we guy and still specialist. don't know why we got I the still guy don't remember who, he's, who was Oh, here. excuse me. Uh, he's an interpreter. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's for uh, he's for the the last language that we haven't uh, gotten an interpreter for, um, which is uh, Kikongo. 
Yeah, we grabbed him. So we have uh, interpreters for all languages that, that pop up uh, that we need interpreters for, all four of them. Um, but yeah, there's also a missile guidance specialist in this place. Uh, and you basically need him if you want to make rocket launchers that can lock on the stuff, like the, mm -hmm. uh, the honeybee from earlier. From, like, all the way back in, like, mission fucking six or something. <laughs> or, uh, epi episode six of this Let's Play, I forget what episode number it was already. Um. Yeah. Following these dudes, they just kind of cut right through the middle of this place. Uh, and they're, they just go there to switch fucking jeeps. That's all they do. The, the barrel on your rifle is hypnotic. <laughs> that crawl. It's incredible. Pop, 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 pop. Oh yeah, all the... It's, yeah, once you get the giant guns, or the really long guns, they just start wiggling everywhere, every, every <laughs> step you take. They just like, they just like jiggle. Um, yeah, anyways. In a, in a separate take, I forgot about the guidance specialist, but here he is. I love his sort of uh, low self-esteem. Yeah. Like he's moaning, help me, and as soon as he does, like, wait for real? No oh one ever God. listens to me. Whoa. Um. Okay, subject. Yeah, that's, that's him. He's not too hard to find. Um, and back to just following these guys. Uh, I'm really glad that... Ocelot, I fucking know about what helicopters are. <laughs> Good lord. Um, I'm really glad you don't have to, like, keep a specific distance uh, to these guys, or else they just, like, vanish and it's game over. Mm -hmm. They can just be... A, you can be on the opposite side of the map and it doesn't matter. And of course, you don't even really need to tail these guys. You can find these guys just by running around. <laughs> but uh, with Vapor Snake, he wandered for quite a while and found a completely different base. And like, Vapor Snake's kind of behind in pr progression-wise compared to mm -hmm. some of the other the other playthroughs. Because like, of his uh, Will Smith marathon. Yeah. Uh, he's still got a couple uh, uh, units that you can fill out a little bit more, or at least kick out the really shitty guys. Oh, another thing is uh, I've shown that trick before with the cardboard box where you could fool guys into thinking you're a soldier just by putting the poster on your, your box. Yes. Uh, because there are different soldiers here. They're from, you know, the, the PFs. There's a different poster you have to wear for these guys, otherwise they're not convinced. If you if you just put on the poster for the, the Russians, they, they don't they're not convinced and they'll they'll shoot you. <laughs> oh, and surprises. Yeah. There's presents. <laughs> Oh, I just wish there were ways to, uh... Like, you know, you can drop... You can drop boxes on dudes' heads with, with supply deliveries, but I just wish there were ways to, dis to distract guys by specifically dropping stuff they want somewhere. Mm. <laughs> um, kind of similar like how in Metal Gear Solid 3, you know, if guys were hungry, you could just drop poison food and then they would get sick or something. Something yeah, like yeah. that. But, uh, also there's this weird cassette over here I mean this weird noise and Ooh. after all this smoking there's just some type of weird tone and the sound that doesn't go well with my with the state I'm in I don't like it I do not like the sound where am I what is this how do I get out of here please help me I was fucking here already! I'm gonna go back to looking at Quiet's ass, okay? I'll catch up <laughs> with you later. Oh! What is this? Oh boy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Two, oh, four, eight, six, three. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? 
This music playing from the stereo in this space in Metal Gear is a song that plays from the radio in PT, the little demo thing to tease Silent Hills, the other game Kojima was making at Konami before it got canceled and he got let go. This is the test, like, tone video they made. Look, they reused Chico's model. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing ever goes right for that kid. Fuck. Yeah. This was a tone video they made to say, oh, this is kind of what we want PT to look like before they even made PT and, and, and started working on Silent Hills. Uh, but yeah, this is not the only reference to PT in, in this game. There's another one later. Ooh. I don't like that, though. I get, I'm burning this. <laughs> Good thing there's some fuel resources. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the tape itself in the song is called 204863, that random string of numbers that uh, the, the guy in the radio says. Now, if... Uh, are any of your recruits named Jareth? Mm, I, I, I don't need think to so. Know. <laughs> if they are, I'm throwing him into the fucking ocean, I think. <laughs> but, uh... All that footage of PT, I captured that myself. I am one of the people that still has PT on their uh, PlayStation 4, and I am never deleting it because you cannot download it anymore after Konami took it off uh, the store. And it's such a shame because it's such an interesting thing, even on its own. Although people have started recreating PT on their own with like Unreal Engine 4 and stuff. One guy made a recreation that's that's pretty decent. All it's not right, quite there, right. but it's pretty close. Yeah. It's 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 interesting seeing people having to like recreate this thing. Um But also, this base uh is surprisingly close to where the guy you're supposed to follow goes to meet up with the uh the informant dude. But I don't really like want to go over there. I just Oh no. The, they they, they pers- listen to weird music. <laughs> Vapor Snake smokes so much and he just feels really awkward now. Psst. Really anxious. Yeah. So we're gonna place these new mines we developed, which are, uh, electromagnetic mines. <laughs> That's what I do when I'm feeling anxious. Yeah, totally. And, uh... You know, just get, get some good coverage here. We got four of them. And, uh, after that, like, I don't, I'm just gonna wait for them to come to me. Hopefully they drive over this way or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, if you actually come here and, and, and get to the meeting point, uh, before taking these dudes out, uh, you can actually listen on a, a fairly lengthy conversation they have. Ooh. Also, there's a ton of dudes here. There's, like, at least a dozen dudes here. Well, this guy is pretty major. Mm-hmm. That's Whoa. target. Looks like we found him. A++. Find some good guys all of a sudden. Also, I think it's really weird that only A and S ranks have a plus plus rank. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they did that. Well, do you want a C plus plus or do you want a B? I mean, a B, but I don't know. Right. It, it feels like a very minuscule difference, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You can't program anything in B? What are you talking about? <laughs> Had an inch a little bit more close. I'm going to go back to G-Major. And give me the bread trekker. The CFA could not fast tell how the soldiers in Wallowa Maza are sterven. All what they can get is the place that the people are talking about. How is it? It's not so easy. Uh-huh. Maar daar is geruchten dat je die job van je hand geweest hebt omdat je geweerd hebt van die ziekte. This is the glowing lung sickness. Oh ja. Van alle dingen. En ik maak soms mijn handen vuil. Maar ik zie in vergelijking met sommige van die plaksems. Slaven aan. Recht onder hulle neus en hulle wil mij vervolg. Maar ik is niet voortrekken, maar jij is helemaal recht. Niet jong van ons. Yeah, we all kind of suck, but. Ik zie die reis in een geschreven verslag. I mean, sure, I killed people for money, but mm-hmm. I've got my own stuff going on. Oh man, a super weird old guy. Would you say approximately 100 years old? <laughs> <laughs> En die rest zal die zin daarvan kunnen inzien. Maar misschien het hele plan om je grootkoppen ook gelukkig te houden. Voor nou? 
punt uit waarmee sê daar is besig is. Ek begryp nie. All right. Well, big boss developed sleep grenades. So all these dudes being packed together is actually pretty good. <laughs> it's instantaneous. But yeah, sleeping grenades are rad. Uh, especially when they're they're like fully upgraded. It's just just such a gigantic sleepy cloud <laughs> that no one can escape from. Yeah, lots of dudes wearing body armor right now, so the, the easiest way to put him to sleep is to honestly just shoot him in, like, the leg or something. Well, when you're getting injections, you're supposed to go for, like, muscle mass, right? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. I mean, there's a lot of major veins and shit in the, in the legs. Yeah. I mean, it, it does depend on what you're injecting, but yeah. there's, a, there's a theory there. <laughs> There you go. EpiPens. EpiPens go right to the thigh, just like, uh, sleepy sniper rifles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're so sleepy. Yeah, it's like ten dudes right there. It's just... Hope you're feasting. Enough balloons, folks. <laughs> this was Put like a secret. all in the, the van, and then... Then felt in the jeep. S save balloons. You're right. You Should have done that. Uh, this is just like a secret, like seminar or something, like just recruitment <laughs> conference. So you want to kill people for money, but <laughs> you're tired of being in Africa. <laughs> you want to see the world. You want to have your own personal zoo. <laughs> Incredible benefits, like a bear. Yeah, there you go. We just fold fucking everybody. You only need to take out that that one, him. the major. But uh, you know, obviously, always the the mission important dudes are always better to fold them because they always have really good skills on them and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I love that you you uh, zipped up so many dudes that Miller is still being snippy. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, that base over there, which is where Vapor Snake w is hanging out. Uh, oh, will once they're be. Done He's with, in the future. Yeah, once they're, uh, those guys are done talking, they hop in their jeeps and drive straight to that helicopter and board it, and then the you get a game over right. if the helicopter right. flies out of the map. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. Whoa! So regal on that horse. Right? Uh, fighting is broken out among staff again. Damn it! One guy went to sick bay because he yes. fought so much. Is it masochistic mastodon or whoever? <laughs> oh right, uh, uh, sadistic vulture, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's probably him for sure. Imagine a mastodon, the tallest thing on earth, <laughs> just shouting "step on me," and all of the other animals are like, "How? What are you talking about?" It's a thing I've wanted most in life because it's not possible. Masochistic Mastodon is just <laughs> is is my favorite King Positive tragic comic uh, web comic. I've always been the biggest, but yet I yearn for something even bigger than me. <laughs> oh, they yeah, vehicles that drive over the electromagnetic not mines. Everyone will just immediately get, pass out. We've also developed the rocket arm. Hell yes. So if you Hell take a look at our yes. arm, it's it's a different color. It's gray. The Hell rocket arm yes. is incredible. Go into first person here and fucking fire it. Rocket piece. It's literally just rocket piece. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, you can you can steer the arm. It has a pretty decent Found range. The guy. Yep. Uh, if you look below the rocket arm in the bottom right, there's that little meter. That's the fuel for the arm. Oh. But even if you run out of fuel, it'll still keep going. And knock dudes out if it hits them. It just goes in a straight line. Um, yeah, you can recharge the fuel just by, like, moving around a bunch. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the rocket arm is so good. Uh, 
And also these decoys I'm throwing are active decoys, which, uh... On top of just being normal decoys, they also attract dudes by making noise, and specifically, it's just Keeper Sutherland doing bad line reads. You're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's people... People are attracted to them. Just to see, wait, really? Wait, yeah. Really? Are you, everybody get a load of this. Yeah. By the way, everybody get a load of this. All right, single file, you're all going to get full and wait your turn. Yep. Everybody just... Look, it'll it'll get done quicker if everyone's just orderly about it, all right? Everybody line up alphabetically according to height, okay? Okay, now okay. everyone keep looking forward. If you hear any noises, disregard them. <laughs> Nothing, it's fine. You're all gonna get Fulton. Welcome, welcome to your new job. I love it. I also love that the, the rocket arm is forceful enough to push vehicles around. There's got to be an achievement for that. There's got to be a oh, leaderboard I wish. for most people, Rocket Beast. I wish. But yeah, one of my wishes, and I even said in the Peace Walker LP, I think, because I just really hoped, like, after seeing Metal Gear Solid 5 trailers and that he had a, a, a cyborg arm, I was like, please let him do Rocket Peace like Zadornov, and they actually did it. It's so good. <laughs> You're pretty good at being yeah. kept waiting. You're pretty good. Is this supposed to be a John Wayne impression? I'm not sure. You're pretty good, partner. You can drive the arm into yourself. Yes. It doesn't do... it just does stamina damage, though. It doesn't take your health away or anything. In that moment, it does make the you're pretty good sound sarcastic and therefore fitting. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty good. Yeah, very good. You're running room. Catch you waiting. There you go. <laughs> I love the active decoys. You're so dumb. Catch me in designated survivor on CBS. <laughs> also, uh, this wasn't planned. I was just really curious, like, oh, this helicopter's still waiting for the guys to get on. <laughs> what do helicopters do if you fire your rocket arm at them? Like, it's open. I can drive the arm inside the helicopter. Turns out, helicopters don't like it. They don't like rocket arms being inside them. They hate it. They get very suspicious. Uh, but the good thing is, helicopters are also distracted by inflatable decoys. You're a stain on the legacy of David Hayter. I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> yeah, they're shooting the the things instead. But now there's a helicopter that's really mad. It's gonna be hard to run away because he's gonna see me. I just need some kind of galaxy brain getaway, like Fultoning myself. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. Thanks for getting us through it. D! Oh no, why would you give a D to my real and true dad? <laughs> D for dad! Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Is it, pro I, it looks more like D for debt. Yeah. Uh. Maybe. <laughs> mad centipede. How mad was he? Just mad. Not super mad. Shoes only come in twos, that's why he's so mad. <laughs> Cannibal Gecko. Oh. Yes, I would like your car insurance, yes. Why don't you come over to my place and talk about it? <laughs> he doesn't even know who's paying him. All his instructions came through a cutout. But how? Who else would be behind it but Cypher? And this nuclear arms trading is clearly connected to that yellow cake. He thought the same thing, which is why he tried to investigate ZRS himself. He said something else that caught my attention. The ZRS are trying to kill some old man. How did one old man get that kind of attention? <laughs> oh, just you wait. Oh, boy. The 100-year-old Native American. <laughs> nuclear oh, physicist. Nuclear physicist. Nu 
Oh, God. Nuclear scientist. Nuclear scientist. Yeah. Well, oh, all boy. nuclear science is physics, so yeah. I, I don't feel bad.